this activity, we will try to classify some changes as reversible and irreversible. For this activity, we will need a big sheet of paper, a pair of scissors, a smaller sheet of paper, a sharpened pencil and a scale. First, take the bigger sheet of paper and fold it along its length into two equal halves. Now, fold one end up to the middle line and another end again up to the middle line. Fold the paper again. Fold the paper from the back side till the middle line. On the other side also fold it till the middle line. Fold the lower edge of the paper to meet the middle line. Repeat the same with the other side. you get a paper aeroplane. Leave this aeroplane on a side. Now take another sheet of paper with the pencil and the scale. Divide that sheet of paper into four equal parts. Cut these along the marked lines. You obtain two pieces. Now cut each piece on the same marked line. The second piece should also be cut on the same line. Now arrange the four pieces to make a sheet of paper. Take the aeroplane and refold it. What do you obtain? Do you obtain the original sheet of paper? Yes, we do get the original sheet of paper as it is. Try to pick up the four pieces of the sheet together. Can you pick it up easily? No, you can pick the pieces of the paper sheet but not all of them together. This type of change is irreversible where you cannot get the original sheet of paper intact. This type of change is reversible where you can get the sheet of paper intact. So, what do we conclude from this activity? Tearing and cutting of paper is a type of irreversible change. Folding of paper is a type of reversible change.